This is a quick video of my power block column stand that I made for my U90 Stage 1 kit power blocks, which are awesome if you don't have any. I was going to buy the one that power block sells, but I wanted something that I could roll around the garage, so I put these casters on the bottom. Each one I think can hold up to like 200 pounds. The problem I had was all of the center weight was coming right down in the middle of this three quarter inch plywood. So I put this two by three that goes along the bottom uh, just to kind of give it more support in the center. And I haven't had any problems after that. The column at the top is cut, I believe, uh, 30 degrees, uh, maybe 20. I really can't remember. But it's attached. The top is attached by these uh, brackets here, if you can see them. Uh, they seem to hold it pretty well. The top is made of two 2x8s on the ends and one 2x6 in the center. Uh, these ends here are actually hurricane straps that I sprayed with Plasti Dip to kind of give it a rubber coating that I'm not too happy with. I don't think I'll ever use Plasti Dip again, at least not for something like this. I thought it was going to be more, I thought it was going to be thicker. Um, but I guess I, I should have actually dipped it um, in something instead of spraying it. So I put a toolbox liner, which is what this is, on the end here to serve as some type of buffer so they don't get scratched up and marred. But this toolbox liner, you get a Home Depot or something. I forget how much it was. Uh, it's about an eighth inch thick. And it works well. These don't slide around at all. The adder weights are actually held in by uh, magnets. These are, I believe, a one inch, maybe one and a half inch uh, circular ceramic magnets with a hole in the center so you can screw them down. Um, I went about a quarter inch down, maybe a little more, uh, with a plunge router to kind of countersink these magnets in. So when I dropped the adderweight in, it held in without moving around, trying to fall off when I'm rolling this thing around the garage. Works pretty well. Kind of take it around the side a little bit. I made it wider on the top because I want to go up to the stage three kit eventually with 90 pounds. Hopefully this won't have a problem handling all that weight but it does really well with the 50 pounds so that's 100 pounds total that's pretty much it if you have any questions just put them in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as I can I'm actually pretty bad about answering questions